girl, 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 we have to talk about it. These pastors, these down low pastors. Can we talk about it? So I came across this article and it's titled Married Pastor, Married Pastor Takes Out a Transgender Woman to Hide His Double Life. Yes, 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 yes. A lot of down low men definitely stays in the church. And the church is such a very, I can't even explain it. It's full of lies, full of demonics. It's evil because this man supposed to be in his spirit to help guide so many people that are really trying to get closer to God, trying to get closer in their religion is being led by a man that's in the flesh. He was constantly in the flesh, constantly in lust mode. They said he stayed going to the uh, hostro to pick up transgender women behind his wife's back. Okay. And then getting up on the church pool, spreading whatever he's spreading because he's not a, even in, in a spiritual. You're not in spiritual when you're constantly in your flesh like that. So definitely he was playing in everybody's face. And I'm sure he got him on a hocus pocus like a lot of religious people do based on emotion, based on, oh, and on all that bullshit in the flesh. Okay. <laughs> have nothing to do with spiritual at all but we are here to talk about this story i am host your host gg xoxo you are at the messy sweet spot and i just want you guys to make sure you have subscribe here make sure you comment because i love to see the comments make sure you guys like this video i hope your fingers ain't broke okay so we're going to watch this video i'm going to put the credits where i got this this was posted three days ago on YouTube and it came across my news feed and I said, okay, let's cover this one. He took out, not only was he messing around, not only was he lusting, okay? When not only was he cheating on his wife, adultery, I believe that's what they call it. Not only then he taking people out of here, okay? He's just an evil demonic man. Make no mistake about it. The devil knows the Bible back and forth. After all, God created the devil. Okay. God created Lucifer. Okay. That's what they say. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> so uh, let's play here and let's dive into it. Okay. Let's go. Six year old Albert Weathers is charged with her murder. Weathers is from Sterling Heights, works for the Great Lakes Water Authority, and investigators confirm he is a pastor at a church in Detroit. Didn't I tell you? Did the hocus po and no more? And I say, all emotion, they want to stir your emotions up. They got the music to stir your emotions up and they get so in their emotions and that is how they get played in their face while he is going out here in his fleshly doing all types of things that he is preaching against. But if they were spiritual, they would have seen that spirit a long time ago. They would, they would have caught it. You would have that discernment. You can sniff that shit out when you're spiritual. But when you're in your flesh, you can't see anything. You, you're just so emotional. And that's where you go on based on your emotions. And that's why he took her out of here because he was very emotional at the time. And I'm hearing she wanted money for her services. And he was not willing to pay her the money for her services. So that's how that went by. And he was in his feelings and took her out of here. These men that's in their feelings, they're very dangerous. Not thinking rational at all in their feelings Re and religion. Oh, that's a badass combination. A man that stay in his feelings and he's religious. He's a religious nut. Dangerous. And he down low. Heather Jessica Williams Stowe says her dog. Girl, they just be eating it up. 
they eat it up all the time. Kelly had been bullied growing up, but she still held her head high and told younger people in the LGBTQ community to do the same. She was loved. She has aunts, her grandmother. She has a lot of people who love her. She she was loved, and and, and you know people cared. So you know it just. She just wasn't nobody. I know that's right. I love to see it. I love that her family uh, respects her pronouns for one. And I love that her family is riding for her and sticking up for her. Okay. Cause oftentimes we don't get to see this and I'm glad that they stood on business and they made sure that demonic man had was coming and they say he got eight years. That ain't even enough. But, hmm, that ain't enough. Mother of Kelly Stowe is devastated, trying to come to grips with her murder. He's attracted to that population, mm -hmm. so own it, own it. And you would think he will own it. He preach on honesty. He got everybody else thinking he's so honest and he has high integrity, but they have been fooled and they are in their flesh because they, they don't have no discernment. They can't sense it. And there's so much of that going on and it's sad, but no, they're not going to ever own it. They're going to continue on their high horse because they want that privilege. When you are a black man or male in, in the community and you are a church, you're a pastor, you are seen as the next thing to God. So people praise you, anything that you do wrong, they're going to excuse it. They're going to say, well, the devil made him do it. That was not him. You know, he's so spiritual. The devil comes to him and make him do all this bullshit lies 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 oh, lies they tell themselves okay um so it's just sad the delusion goes on out here and it goes deep okay it goes deep let's continue on maybe change your life my sister never wavered in her commitment to her child um as a person so to hear him admit it it has been heart-wrenching yeah, Kelly was my first grandchild. Oh, that's so blessing to see all the family is coming together. Okay, she was definitely loved, and that's great to see. Now, one of them said that they wanted that man to admit it. He's never going to admit it. He will, he, these men in the past, especially religious men, they would rather destroy the whole world than to come clean and be honest. They would rather have the whole world in before they are honest and live in their truth. Okay. Yes. 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 Okay. They're not going to pull that mask off. They're not going to let you know what they really doing. Okay. <laughs> what their really desire is because a lot of them how can I do it? How can I? It's so, it's so many beliefs, you know, religion, it has so many different beliefs. You got so many different men that believe in different things. Every uh, scenario is not going to fit everyone because there's so many different beliefs. Some people believe that gay or, you know, what he does is not a real thing. It's just spirit. And, you know, once he get finished doing what he's doing, then he's heterosexual. And all he got to do is ask God to for forgive him every single time. And he's forgiven. That's people beliefs, you know, so people have different beliefs. And who are you to tell them? No, that's not right. You know, it's so many different religions. And I hear this debate all the time. Where's well, only one God. It's only one God. And they feel like their God is the true God. And you feel like your God is the true, true God until y'all guys come down here on earth and have that debate until y'all guys come and have a town hall meeting to duke it out. Listen, that's your mind. That's their mind. And that's it. But you do have so many people that are trying to convert other people to think like them. And that's a lot of people mission. I want to change your mind to think like, bitch, I don't want to play them goddamn games with you. I don't want to play pretend with your ass. Okay. You do you. I do me. And let's just leave it there. Okay. <laughs> but they can't have it that way. So let's continue on. And we had a bond a serious tight bond mm. i don't want her to be 
what society may have a picture of of trans women of color you know they're not throwaways they're not people who people have forgotten you know they they all have a backstory and i think that's something that needs to be realized how tortured are you to lead such a duplicitous life and to the these demonic men, these demons, they're not tortured. They're very comfortable with their privilege. They like it. They love the thrill. They love being on the pastor stand, having a wife, having the picture, having it all being praised because the black community, they praise the men in the church and then to go and do their thing with what they really want to do at night and treat them like trash. Okay. They love it. They love it. The, do you really? He's not conflicted. He's not feeling like, damn, I really just want to be honest. No, they are very, the, these demons, demon, these, these the mother, they very comfortable. The, honey, they good. Uh-uh. He, he, he not feeling no way. Point that you were willing to cover up what you did by taking this line. How dare you? Did you do survival sex work? Yes, I did. Ms. Butts, how do you know Albert Weathers? We've had prior engagements in the past. Okay. When you're talking about engagements, what do you mean? Hookups, like sex work. He was one of the guys that I hooked up with. Welcome to Explore Crimes. Mm. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon for more stories. In the heart of Detroit, where the streets tell stories of survival and secrets, a tragedy unfolded that shook the very foundations of faith, identity, and justice. This is not just another crime story. It's a chilling tale of how a life was brutally cut short and how the truth behind it was tied to a man who preached faith by day but harbored dark secrets by night. Mm -hmm. Kelly Stowe was a beacon of light, a transgender woman who dared to live her truth in a world that often punished authenticity with mm -hmm. violence. But her life ended in cold blood and the man accused of taking it? A pastor. A man of God, hmm. whose double life and actions have now placed him at the center of a case that revealed... This is sad. He had no business cheating on his wife. He had no business doing that. K killing, cheating on his wife, being down at the whole stroll. No business, no business, no business. No business. Especially being who he is. But a lot of church is nothing but a business, girl. For him, this ain't nothing but a business. Feels the darkest corners of both the human soul and the society we live in. Kelly Stowe was born Tristan Stowe on November 2nd, 1982. Tristan grew up in a world that didn't always understand him. From a young age, he knew he was different. His feminine mannerisms set him apart, and as a child, he often faced bullying and ridicule for expressing himself in ways that didn't align with societal expectations. But even in the face of such adversity, he maintained a positive spirit and found solace in sports. A gifted and multi-talented individual, Tristan excelled in both academics and athletics. Tristan's talent on the football field led to a big opportunity, a scholarship to play college football in South Dakota. This was seen as a way out, a chance to build a successful future. But even with all the recognition and potential, Tristan struggled with a deep inner conflict. He realized that the life he was living as a male athlete didn't match who he truly was inside. Once he was in college, away from home, Tristan began to explore his true identity. He came to understand that he couldn't keep living a life that felt like a lie. Mm. This led him to make a life-changing decision. He walked away from football and the scholarship that came with it. Instead, he decided to pursue his real passion, fashion, and started his transition to become Kelly Stowe. Mm. She enrolled in the International Academy of Design and Technology in Chicago, Illinois. This move marked a significant turning point in Kelly's life allowing her to explore her talents in fashion design while also embracing her true self. In the vibrant and diverse environment of fashion school, Kelly found not only her artistic voice, but also a supportive community that accepted her for who she was, hmm. paving the way for her to become a respected advocate and mentor within the LGBTQ community. 
Her journey to live authentically was challenging, but it also became the most important part of her life, inspiring others to embrace who they truly are. After becoming Kelly, she found a home in Detroit's lively ballroom scene, oh. where she became a star. As part of the House of Ebony, Kelly wowed crowds with her energetic performances and magnetic personality. Whether she was voguing on the runway or competing in lip-sync battles, her confidence and boldness made her a favorite in the community. Through it all, her family remained supportive, embracing her decision and standing by her side throughout her journey. Their love and support were crucial as Kelly embraced her identity and pursued her passions, allowing her to become the bold and compassionate advocate she was known to be. Despite the challenges she faced, Kelly Stowe continued to strive for a better life, but the lack of opportunities pushed her into a harsh reality. The jobs she managed to secure paid too little to cover her basic needs, mm. forcing her to turn to survival sex work to make ends meet. It was in this dangerous world, on the streets of Detroit, that Kelly crossed paths with Pastor Albert Weathers. Pastor Albert Weathers was a man who lived a double life. Mm -hmm. By day, he presented himself as a devoted man of faith, leading his congregation at Logos Church in Detroit and embodying the image of a committed husband and father. His wife stood by his side, supporting him as he preached messages of morality and righteousness. The church community viewed him as a spiritual leader. Now, how the wife didn't know this? Huh? She must be in a flesh world too. How is she okay with being so spiritual, you know, in their religion as they claim? And having your husband putting his mouth on woods. Okay. Okay. Make no mistake about it. Putting his mouth on woods. And then taking that same mouth and putting it in your, in your mouth. I mean, do what you want to do. Okay. Do what you want to do. But I didn't think maybe she's a freak like that. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Um, they say he's been doing this for years, okay? He's always been messing with transgenders and probably gay men too. Honey, this is a mess. This is a mess. It, Honey, this year and this whole couple of years, a lot of stuff in the church has been revealed. It's a mess. Make no mistake about it. And they could trust for guidance and inspiration. He and his wife had built a life centered around their faith, raising their children and fostering relationships within the church. However, beneath this public persona, Pastor Weathers harbored dark secrets. Away from the pulpit, he frequently sought out encounters with transgender women a hidden side of his life that directly contradicted the moral values he preached. He regularly cruised through Detroit's Palmer Park, an area known for survival sex work, where he met women like Kelly Stowe. His double life remained hidden for years until a fatal encounter with Kelly on a cold December morning in 2018. After picking Kelly up for a sexual transaction that turned sour, an altercation ensued over payment. Mm. In a desperate attempt to protect his secret, Weathers shot Kelly in cold blood. Mm -hmm. After Pastor Albert Weathers shot Kelly Stowe, he made a series of calculated decisions in an attempt to cover up his actions. Instead of helping Kelly or calling for medical assistance, Weathers left her lying on the cold pavement, mm -hmm. bleeding from a gunshot wound. He then drove away from the scene, continuing with his day as if nothing had happened. Weathers went home where he washed up and changed clothes, trying to erase any traces of the crime. Afterward, he proceeded to his job at the Great Lakes Water Authority. Oh, he's demonic. He didn't have no remorse after taking someone's life because he lives in the flesh. No way. If he was regretful, oh my God, I can't believe what I just did. Oh my God, call the cops or something. Let's try to get you help. Let's try to save a life. 
he don't have that in him because he's living on that demon time. Yeah, he's living on that demon time. And he thought he was going to get away with it. Let's just be honest here. Is this the first transgender woman that he took him out? I doubt it. I bet you he probably have taken out another girl before. It's a lot of unsolved murders dealing with transgender women. And I bet you his name is on the dotted line because these kings that y'all like to call them, they are repeat offenders. Make no mistake about it. Just like he kept on going back for some D, going back for some chick with some dicks. He kept on going back on the stroll for it. He ain't going back looking for no kitty. Hello, kitty. He don't want that. It, it's whole selling hello, kitty, too. Nah, nah, nah. He, he, he know what he want. He been fiending for it, won't it? Got dick on his breath. Preaching to y'all and y'all eating it up because you lost too. How you not see it? Preaching with dick on his breath. Ain't that some shit? <laughs> Preaching with dick on his Girl. Honey, just playing in your face. Couldn't be me. Be maintaining the facade of a normal routine. It wasn't until an hour later that he contacted the police, reporting the incident as a case of self-defense. He claimed that Kelly had tried to rob him, that she entered his car without permission and demanded money, threatening him with a sharp object, and he was forced to shoot her out of fear for his life. Pastor now charged in the murder of a transgender woman. Investigators not yet revealing the true motive behind the killing. The body of 36-year-old Kelly Stowe was found early Friday morning in the area of East McNichols and Brush. Tonight, 46-year-old Albert Weathers is charged with her murder. Weathers is from Sterling Heights, works for the Great Lakes Water Authority, and investigators confirm he is a pastor at a church in Detroit. 7 Action News reporter Kimberly Craig is live in Detroit where she spoke with the victim's mother, Kim. Yes. Now, I will say this. I don't know what happened, but, you know, these girls out here, I would just say, if you're going to do something, make sure you get the money first, okay? Make sure you put the, get, the, get the money first. You better not do no service. You better not do no service until you get the full fee up front. If they can't do that, then you can't do any service and you need to go about your merry way. And I thank you. Heather, Jessica Williams Stowe says her daughter Kelly had been bullied growing up, but she still held her head high and told younger people in the LGBTQ community to do the same. She was loved. She has aunts, her grandmother. She has a lot of people who love her. She she was loved. And, and, and you know, people cared. So, you know, it, it, she just wasn't nobody. The mother of Kelly Stowe is devastated, trying to come to grips with her murder. Kelly was shot to death just before 6 o'clock Friday morning. And investigators say the person who killed the transgender woman is 46-year-old Albert Weathers, a local pastor. If you don't hear the preacher no more... Pastor Weathers is now charged with open murder and the use of a firearm in the commission of a felony. At his home in Sterling Heights, a woman who answered the door would only say they have no comment. Kelly Stowe was shot to death in the area of East McNichols and Brush in Detroit. And a source close to the investigation says there was a witness and that Albert Weathers only called police an hour after the shooting and after he clocked into work at the Great Lakes Water Authority. Questions that are expected to be answered at the preliminary examination include the motive for allegedly murdering Kelly, who aspired to be a fashion designer and buyer. I raised her to respect people, to love people, just as she was brought up in the church. Everybody don't judge. Everybody's different. And it's okay. The case is being handled by a special prosecutor with the Fair Michigan Justice Project, which assists police and prosecutors in solving serious crimes against lesbians, gays, bisexuals, and transgender persons. Jaleesa Abad is with Fair Michigan, and like Kelly Stowe was, she's an advocate for those in the LGBTQ community, especially trans women of color. So though work has to be done, we are doing the work, and I just want to emphasize to my community that to continue to do this work, I need them to continue 
continue to come forward and report these crimes. Even with uh, with her being bullied as a kid and, and with that and everything else, you know, she still... You better come forward and report these crimes or you may be next. You might be next. You think these men care about you? They don't. They don't. These demons don't care about nobody but they self. You better come forward and tell. You better come forward and tell. Because you might be next. She still wasn't bitter. And Albert Weathers no longer works for the Great Lakes Water Authority. And a source says when he called police an hour later from work, he claimed that he had been robbed and said he shot someone. His bond has been set at $1 million. We know these kings lie, and especially him. He, he probably still got D on his breath. He's a liar. He's a deceiver. He manipulates. He's a care. Honey, I tell you, I think that wife knew all along. I think that wife knows who her husband is, and I don't think she's all that religious or spiritual either. I think she'd be faking a funk too, like a lot of them do. Yeah. Yeah, it's a scheme. Ain't no Dollars. way. The authorities quickly began investigating the circumstances of the incident. The Palmer Park neighborhood, where Kelly was shot, was notorious as a location where individuals engaged in survival sex work, and it was widely understood. Yeah, he knew what he was going down there for. Understood that people typically only went there to either buy or sell sex. Despite this, Weathers claimed that he was in the area to buy a specific grade of gasoline from a nearby gas station. A story that seemed unbelievable. A lie don't care who tell it as long as it's told. He's a liar. He's not to be trusted. The man of God. The Christian. The pastor. Yeah. Given the neighborhood's reputation. Weathers' behavior after the shooting further raised suspicions. Witness testimonies and evidence from the scene led to his arrest, with prosecutors arguing that the shooting was not justified. He was charged with second-degree murder and faced trial, where the full details of the case were presented. Mm. One key witness, a transgender woman who had multiple sexual encounters with Weathers, testified that he had been frequenting the Palmer Park area for several years, regularly purchasing services from transgender women, including Kelly. She revealed that Weathers had been a client of Kelly's for some time. Mm. The witness also detailed Weathers' well-known pattern of behavior of circling the block multiple times before making a decision, mm. likely trying to avoid detection or to assess the situation before committing to picking someone up. He also had a reputation among the workers as being difficult and aggressive. Uh, did you know a person by the name of Kelly Stowe? Yes, I do. How did you know Kelly? Um, that was like a very close friend of mine. You could say like a best friend, a sister. You hung out together frequently? Yes. Can you please tell me uh, what you know about the area of Six Mile and Woodward and Six Mile and John R? Six Mile and Woodward, that's an area um, mainly where you find a lot of LGBTQ, transgender women, and also a lot of, in my words, sex workers. Did you do survival sex work? Yes, I did. Ms. Butts, how do you know Albert Weathers? We've had prior engagements in the past. Okay. When you're talking about engagements, what do you mean? Hookups, like sex work. He was one of the guys that I hooked up with. Do you have knowledge of Mr. Weathers picking up other trans women? Yes. Okay. How do you have that knowledge? I've saw him pick up other women. So you would also personally see Mr. Weathers engaging with other trans women? Yes. And Kelly Stowe was one of these women that yes. worked in the same area. Objection, yes. please. He was known to pick up transgender women mm. and then try to change the agreed upon payment or intimidate them. Another critical witness, Eddie Neal Price, testified that he saw Weathers at the scene shortly after Kelly was shot. Price revealed that Weathers had gotten out of his car, taken Kelly's cell phone from her as she lay on the ground, and then drove away without offering any help. This testimony directly contradicted Weathers' assertion of self-defense and further suggested... Took the cell phone away from her. I mean, I already knew he was lying because he's a liar. That's what liars do. 
He is the demonic, okay? He does everything under the sun. He preach against demon, demon, demon. I can understand if he was not a pastor, he didn't believe in this and he was on some other bullshit. But for the fact that he sits up there and he preached this and this is what he claims he a part of, this is what he identifies as, and he is the total opposite of everything he identifies as, that is a double life, right? That's a goddamn liar. That is something wrong with him in the mind, okay? <laughs> something is wrong with him. Uh-uh. That his primary concern was covering up his actions rather than aiding Kelly. Despite what... Because they all, like I said before, all these men care about is their reputation, okay, and their image. They care about that more than they care about their wives, more than they care about anybody else. Anybody else. Do you think he cared about his wife when he was cheating on her with transgenders? Do you think he cared about his wife taking his mouth, putting on some wood, and then going kissing his wife and pushing out on the church and telling, you know, church whatever, and, and preaching the word of God with dick on his breath? Huh? And they just eating it up, giving them the money, giving them the money because they lost as well, honey. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, 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 mm. Happens often. Yeah. You think he can't, he don't care about anybody. He don't care about the members. Because if he cared about the church member, he'd do right. He'd know I am in a position. I have to be in my spiritual realm so I can lead this body of people to God or Jesus or whoever they decide who it is. You know, I have to take this serious because this is people's souls that we're dealing with. But it's a game to him and he don't respect his wife. How could you respect your wife doing some shit like that? Getting involved in some shit like that. And then taking out somebody's life. Mm, 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 mm. And nobody will hold him accountable because he's religious. And religious people get a pass and they get privileged because they are the closest thing to God. Yeah. People beliefs. I don't believe that, but you have a lot of people that do believe that. I was raised that way. And honey, I have seen all the hocus pocus. I am very aware. So um, it's just life, you know? Let's go. Weathers' assertion that he was in the area to purchase a specific grade of gasoline, the evidence pointed to a different reason for his presence. The testimonies, combined with the evidence presented by the prosecution, painted a damning picture of Weathers' conduct, ultimately leading to his conviction. The investigation, including his changing story, the testimony from those who knew his pattern of behavior, and the witness who saw him at the scene, suggested that the shooting wasn't self-defense, but rather a situation that escalated into violence. During the trial, Albert Weathers initially pleaded not guilty to the charges of second-degree murder and felony firearm possession. Weathers later changed his plea to guilty in the face of mounting evidence against him. The trial had been delayed several times, including during the COVID-19 pandemic. Ultimately, Weathers was sentenced to eight years in prison for second-degree murder and an additional two years for the firearm charge. It's Judgment Day for Albert Weathers, a former pastor who pleaded guilty to murdering a transgender woman, Kelly Stell, in December of 2018. Is there anything you'd like to say before I send it to But the victim's family had plenty to say. Weathers shot her and left her in the street, discarded like trash. She had the courage to withstand it all and live her truth her way with no excuses or regrets. Unlike yourself, Weathers, you murdered my child to try and hide your shame and fear mm. of who you really are. Despite her pain, the victim's grandmother offered prayers to Weathers. But I pray God's blessing on you. You know the word. You know what you learned. Ask forgiveness 
and I hope it comes. The judge offered condolences to the family and then Weathers was sentenced according to the plea agreement. For your conviction on count one, second degree murder to eight to 16 years. For your conviction on count two, felony firearm, court will sentence you to two years. The trial brought some measure of justice for Kelly Stowe's family, though they expressed that no sentence could truly make up for the loss of their loved one. During the trial of Albert Weathers, Kelly Stowe's family was a constant and resolute presence in the courtroom, determined to see justice served for their loved one. For them, the trial was more than just a legal proceeding. It was a deeply personal fight to honor Kelly's memory and to affirm the value of her life. Kelly's mother, Jessica Williams, and other family members had endured years of heartache, not only because of Kelly's tragic death, but also due to the stigma and challenges faced by transgender women. Mm. And I just wanted to hear him admit it has been heart-wrenching. Yeah, Kelly was my first grandchild, and we had a bond, a serious, tight bond. I don't want her to be what society may have a picture of, of trans women of color, you know? They're not throwaways, they're not people who people have forgotten. You know, they, they all have a backstory, and I think that's something that needs to be realized. She was cared for. She, she was loved. I personally told her to be the best version of herself that she could be, own it, and um, <laughs> just live your life and be happy. I was glad for her. I was proud of her to, to own who she was and to be her true self. How tortured are you to lead such a duplicitous life? And to the point that you were willing to cover up what you did... By taking this line. Mm. Mm. Girl, girl, girl. I'm sorry the light went out. You guys know my lights. Can y'all help me? Send some money to my cash app so I can get my lights on. Dollar sign pink lips 500. If you guys enjoy my content, I need the help. Cash app me. All right. So, did you guys enjoy this video? Comment. Let me know if you guys want me to continue to talk about true crime stories. All right. Um, I just want to let you guys know I really enjoy talking to you guys. I really enjoy doing these type of commentaries and i hope you guys feel the same way make sure you like this video make sure you have subscribed to this channel the messy sweet spot i am ggxoxo and i will see you guys on another upload bye Stop, stop.